everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited for this DIY. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this awesome beauty cart. It costs no more than $50 to make. It's super inexpensive. Um, I decided to create this because I do have a vanity, but sometimes it gets too crowded with all the junk that I have. And I really wanted to put all the little knickknacks and, um, and makeup stuff that I have on display. Um, so this was just perfect. It was perfect for me. It was a perfect idea. And I know a lot of you guys can benefit from this. Um, even if you don't have a vanity. Just to have all your little beauty stuff on display. It's like so girly and it's so like chic. Um, it's something about it. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so here's the cart that I'm going to be using to make my beauty card. It's pretty much just a utility shelf that you can pretty much use for all different uses like they have all these different crazy uses at the bottom but i want to spray paint it because i want it to look less utility and more beauty um and white was just perfect because it matches my walls and my room is pretty much all white but you can definitely spray paint it um any color that you want but this shelf was about 20 dollars, and i got it from walmart which is perfect Okay guys, so here's my metal shelf all assembled. It was pretty easy to do, just don't follow the directions. <laughs> because the directions are like super confusing. So um, I just went with it. it was, like I said, it was pretty simple. Um, I'm outdoors, you wanna make sure you're outdoors and you wanna make sure you cover the surface that you're gonna be painting on. And really quickly, here's the paint that I'm gonna be using. Um, I got it from Home Depot and I'm using flat. They also have like gloss and semi-gloss. Um, I wasn't really interested in getting that because I didn't want the frame to, to stand out too much. I wanted to kind of blend in with my walls and my walls are like kind of like a, a flat or satin finish. Um, so that's why I got flat, but it's totally up to you what finish you want to get. And I got white because I wanted to um, blend in with the decor of my room. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, first, I'm just going to apply a, a really thin thin coat to see how it, it works and hopefully I only need one coat but um, I'm planning on two so let's get started. because I finally finished painting um, my shelf and I'm ready to start decorating it just to give you guys a little bit more info um, I did two coats and I needed one and a half cans of spray paint um, and the paint that I'm using again is the ultra cover paint and primer and it's in flat white um, just some tips on spray painting your arm your fingers get really really tired so I went out and bought like this contraption that actually sits on top of the the spray paint and you you spray spray it like this like you would like a um, a spray bottle it helps some but it's still that motion like really aches my fingers um, like I let it dry overnight so about 24 hours I let it dry and now I'm ready for the fun part which is the decorating part so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be decorating um, this beauty cart with to make it into a beauty cart uh, so um, I'll show you guys that now so here are all the items that I'm going to be using to decorate my beauty cart 95% of the stuff here was thrifted specifically from Savers I have a few pieces from Marshalls we have one piece from um, Dollar Tree and this one was gifted but like I said the majority of the stuff here is from Savers and none of this stuff costs more than five dollars so this is a super inexpensive way to create a luxury beauty cart that looks spectacular so you can pretty much DIY all this stuff but I'm gonna leave it as is for now except for these two pieces um, now if you're a DIY guy like myself um, you know that you can use cake stands to hold your perfume um, unfortunately when I went to the thrift store I didn't find any cake stands that you know worked for me so I decided to create my own using this candle holder which I got for $1.99 and this glass plate which I got for $3.99 and I'm pretty much just gonna glue them together just like that and create my own little perfume stand.
Okay guys, so here's my completed beauty card. Well, I can't really say completed because I still have a few more items that I didn't find a home for. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back to Savers and Marshalls and look for some more glass containers. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied with the outcome. It pretty much came out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, moving forward, I'll probably make a few minor adjustments here and there, but I'm satisfied, like it's perfect. It's exactly how I pictured it. Okay, um, so moving on to what I actually have on my beauty cart, starting with the first shelf and the actual focal point for my beauty cart is this well-renowned poster by an artist named Ellis Wilson, and it's the Turning Point, the Harlem Renaissance. This is an amazing poster. Um, some of you may even seen it in the Cosby show. It was actually like hanging up in their living room and it showed it like every, every episode. Um, this is actually my grandparents rest in peace so it's um it's really nostalgic for me to be able to find a home for it and it fits perfectly in my beauty cart moving right along right here we have the diy cake stand that i created um which holds some of my perfumes and we have my all-time favorite right here which is daisy by mark jacobs i love that smell it's just so fresh um in this bowl back here we have um all of my rings and in this fondue tray, we have my rose gold watch along with a few of my gold bracelets. I actually love bracelets. And here is my little Grecian goddess and she's chocolate. I love it. <laughs> here we have a container with some cotton balls. Um, back here is a, a vase that I actually got from Savers as well with some little fake sunflowers. I love sunflowers. I'm addicted. Um, that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, then back here, we have a container with a lid on it that actually has all my eyeliners, lip liners, um, lip pens, and anything that's like pencil-like is in this little container here. Um, so that's pretty much the first shelf. Okay, so moving right along to the second shelf. In this first ceramic bowl right here, I have all my nail supplies. So my nail files, my toe separators, nail clippers directly behind that. In this base, I have some of my nail polishes. Coming back to the front, I have these two candles that I actually got from Walmart for a dollar. They're amazing. <laughs> and in this square container, I have some of my lipsticks. And I have the remainder of my lipsticks in this container along with some of my lip glosses. These two tin cans may look really familiar because I feature them in my January favorites video. I got them from Target for guess what? A dollar! <laughs> so one has my cotton swabs and the other one has um, some of my makeup brushes. Directly in the back in this circular container, I pretty much have all my bronzers and blushes. Um, I also have some foundation in there, BB cream, tinted moisturizer, and also a few eyeshadow palettes that are small. All the way in the back over here, I pretty much have all my little elf palette. So my concealer, my um, corrective concealer, my, what is it? Um, complexion correction and translucent magnifying powder and um, the contour and blush palette. Um, so that's all my elf stuff in here. So that's pretty much the second shelf. Moving right along to the third and final shelf, what I like to call my random shelf. And this first basket is where I keep all my toiletry items that I use on the daily. So my lotions, my body sprays, my deodorant, um, my hair products that I use nightly. Um, here's my satin bonnet. Um, I have some extra, what is this, cotton pads over here. And also have a spray bottle over here. Um, so that's that basket so I can just grab and pretty much go. Back here in these two vases, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to put in them. Um, maybe eventually some flowers or something something other than what's in here. I'm not really sure. It, it kind of works right now. So in the first container, I have um, some of my perm rods. And in the other one, I have some of my flexi rods. Um, and the last item on this card is actually this yellow ceramic jug. Um, some of you may know I do have an accent wall in my room which is yellow so this kind of brings that out um, I'm not sure if I'll ever put anything in here maybe some flowers but um, it's nice I like it it's yellow it's bright it makes me smile <laughs> and so that's pretty much the third and final rack um, down here I actually ran out of room in my closet for my shoes so I just slid this shoe box underneath here it's a brand new pair that I got today um, but most likely it won't stay there because it's gonna just bother me that a shoebox is visible um, I don't know we'll see so yeah guys that's my beauty cart hope you guys are inspired you just pretty much got to do your own thing you have to find what works for you just add your own little creative touches this is just a template this is a blank template and you can follow this guide and then just add pieces of you to it and just own it and just make it your own 
Um, like I said, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I'll make some minor adjustments going forward. But yeah, I'm happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you were inspired. And until next time, guys, peace and dopeness. The little Grecian goddess says hi. Say yas, honey. Yas, y'all gonna get y'all live today. Bing. <laughs>